What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be creating a COD tier list starting with Call of Duty 4. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through a few days before Black Ops Cold War comes out. I know we're all excited for that. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> reminder if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel i try to upload as much as i can uh, we're going to be doing mostly like let's plays stuff like that so if you guys do enjoy the content please be sure to like comment subscribe all that and make sure if you um want to stay up to date with all the recent uh uploads just hit that notification bell on the bottom but let's get into this so let's start with cod 4 where are we at so cod 4 when was i introduced to cod 4 was after Modern Warfare 2, because as a young lad, I wasn't allowed to play M-rated video games um, until a certain point. So I do have to say, though, um, Call of Duty 4 was a good game. It was a great base for, you know, where Call of Duty kind of took off as a title. We did, I did play the, you know, the old World War II shooters back in the day, but those never, you know, took really off. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is kind of what set the tone and the pace for what they had planned for the future, so, um, let's remove that, hold on, all right, so I think I'll put COD in the A, COD 4 in the A tier, um, I wouldn't say it's S tier, it definitely had some flaws and some things that just, you know, didn't get worked out till the newest, the newer title, but, um, yeah, so let's move on to World at War, where do I start with World at War, um, World at War was the, they kind of went back to an overhaul of the World War II shooter. Um, it did kind of get like a violent graphic overhaul with a lot of blood, gore, everything like that, which kind of made it a little bit more interesting. Um, they did, they had fought on the Japan front in the campaign as well as the Russian front. They kind of introduced um, Reznov, stuff like that. Um, World War at War, I didn't play much online. I really liked the campaign and it set the tone for zombies, but I mean, Online wasn't my favorite. Kind of people just got in those tanks on those a little bit larger maps and just ruled the whole map and didn't really have a chance to do anything. So um, I'm gonna put World at War in C tier because I think it was still good for what it was as a campaign and the zombie kickoffs. But you know, those things kind of didn't get worked out until later games. So now we go back to. Modern Warfare 2, where do I start? This was my first Call of Duty game um, in the new overhaul that I got. Um, I remember that Christmas, I wanted it so bad, and my parents, for a week before, they gave me an ornament with a, like a World War II airplane teasing me. And then I was on my last present that year, opening presents, and it was a closed box, like one of the big rectangle ones, and I was devastated inside, as you know. <laughs> and then, so I opened it, and they had taped the game in that box, and it was the most amazing Christmas ever. Modern Warfare 2 was where, I mean, I grew my love for Call of Duty games. I I mean, we were playing from 8 o'clock at night to 5 in the morning with our friends, um, you know, sniping, whatever. So I definitely have to rank Modern Warfare 2 in S tier. Um, that's just kind of, you know, a no-brainer for me. Now we will move on to Call of Duty Black Ops, where Treyarch kind of found their form after World of War. Um, Black Ops, good campaign. I did feel like at the end of it, and with, you know, where they cut it off and where the new Black Ops games went, it kind of left you hanging. Um, online was fun. The zombies mode was amazing. Um, that's where it kind of... The zombies really found a really good form, all the pack a punch, all that stuff. So, um, I'll put Black Ops in B tier. We have a nice little spread for right now, you know. Um, yeah, Black Ops was a good game. I mean, I didn't really find my form with Treyarch games for a while, to be honest. It was I was just you know still so blown away with Modern Warfare Two and having fun on that that I didn't really get too involved with some of the newer ones for a while. I mean, I got them every year, but, you know, you always kind of found yourself back at Modern Warfare 2, hopping in some sniper lobbies or something like that. Um, who is next? So we move on to Modern Warfare 3. So 
a little bit graphical update from Modern Warfare 2, just continued the story of hunting Makarov down. Um, they did the whole, I remember in the commercial where the M started as a W, and it said World War Three, and like switched down to the M, made the cool pinging sound, you know, tipped off the trailers for you. Um, campaign was good, sealed the, you know, kind of capped the story off there, and then online, you know, it was online, it was pretty good, guns were good. A little bit changed in the graphics, but I'll put Modern Warfare 3 probably in C tier. I also remember they put that survival mode. Um, I didn't play too much of it. It was just kind of like waves of bad guys, and they got progressively harder. And it was okay. It was okay. Um, so now we move on to Black Ops 2. So Black Ops 2, awesome game. The online league play was so much fun had a lot of fun there. Um, campaign was okay. I didn't really care for the, the modern Black Ops campaigns, to be honest, all the way. I mean, we'll get to Black Ops 4 in a minute, but um, Black Ops 2's campaign was okay. It was interesting. Something new. It was mostly online that sealed the deal for me. Um, kind of brought that sniping feel back that we got in Modern Warfare 2, but other than that, it was yeah, it was a great, a great game. Um, I'll definitely have to put Black Ops 2 in S tier, though, just because with the offer of league play. I mean, that was just amazing that they offered that for you and you kind of got that competitive experience, whether you were a pro player or not. Um, now we move on to Call of Duty Ghost. Now this is where uh, we were making that transition from Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 to the Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Um, got to see some of the new mechanics, corner peeking, the slide was a little different. Um, I thoroughly liked it, to be honest, and most people probably aren't going to agree with this, but I really liked Ghost. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a good take on a new story. Um, online, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun using the Honey Badger. Those were my favorite guns. It was a little too futuristic. I think they could, if they dialed it back, it could have been a very good Modern Warfare game, but um, I'll definitely say Call of Duty Ghost is going to go in my B tier. Now, where do we start with... Um, this is where now we're going to transition into Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, this is this game was interesting to me. Um, campaign was cool. It was cool. Um, you got to see like the motion capture of Kevin Spacey <laughs> his irons, and it was. I mean, it was like, interesting. Like I liked the idea of private military companies, but the exosuits was. Definitely a, a weird take, and it was the newest take on Call of Duty. Um, that's where they kind of first introduced the jetpacking. Um, but Advanced Warfare was special to me just because I remember that's where I started like playing competitive online. Like nothing serious, but I like playing. I got into like game battles and stuff like that, and it kind of also just sparked where I sparked my interest in esports. So because it holds a special place, I'll put it in the B tier. Um, other than that, it was it was okay game. Um, so now we move on to Call of Duty Black Ops Three. So this is like campaign, whatever. I mean, we're not even gonna get into that. I mean, it was okay, but Black Ops Three was my favorite multiplayer since Modern Warfare Two's. I know it had the jetpacking and, and it introduced the idea of like specialists, um, but. I had so much fun in this game. I was grinding it every night. I got my roommate in with me. We were playing game battles. I had another friend online. We were playing game battles all the time. The guns were amazing. They were very fun to use. They felt good. Um, and I mean, I had just Black Ops Three. If I could have an overhaul of that, and just you know, I'd go back to it. I definitely put that in S tier for me. That was some of the most fun I've had on a Call of Duty game, regardless of the new mechanic. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, this is where the tier list is going to start to go downhill for you and me. Infinite Warfare. So this is Infinity Ward's take on the jetpacking um, campaign. I'll give it that. It was a fun campaign. I would not have classed it as a Call of Duty game, to be honest. But the campaign was fun. It looked good. Um, it was interesting having the robot. Uh, Companion, that I mean, it, it was okay. It was okay. Online, where do I start with online? Um, I maybe played three days of it. I 
did not like it. It was just, it was not fun to me. I watched it a little bit, like, on, like, the tournaments and stuff, but I, I didn't like it. So I'm going to have to put that in D tier, just because the campaign gave it a little bit of bonuses. Um, now, Call of Duty World <laughs> War Two. Okay, so I remember when I first saw the trailer, I was ecstatic. I was excited Call of Duty was going back to boots on the ground. I was excited it was going back to World War Two. And then I played it. So campaign, fun, not memorable. I don't really remember much of the campaign at all. I remember you could pick up like metal medical packs that kind of threw it back to like those old like PlayStation One Medal of Honor games. Um, campaign wasn't very memorable to me. Uh, and then the online, I liked a little bit. I didn't. I think I liked that one mode where you had to kind of complete tasks as you were um, fighting, like building the bridge and stuff. Um, but other than that, I did not really get into it too much. I played it for a, a good chunk of time, but never really got competitive with it. Um, yeah, I, it just wasn't like, it kind of seemed like it, like a lot of these last few ones just came and went. They weren't very memorable. And that's what, you know, sad to me because going back, I mean, everyone knows Modern Warfare 2. Everyone played Black Ops 2. Everyone remembers when Call of Duty Modern Warfare Modern Warfare came out, and it was like, what is this? Like, what is Call of Duty doing? Where are they taking this? Like, it was just amazing. So I'm about to put World War II in the D tier. Um, last is Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and it's going to have to, I mean, I'm just going to put it in trash, but that's because I didn't play it. I, after Infinite Warfare and World War II, like I said, because those games weren't memorable, I lost my interest in Call of Duty. I really did. I, I mean, I remember Blackout came out, didn't even play it. I played the beta. Um, and then when Black Ops 4 came out, I just didn't touch it. I was not interested. I was kind of disappointed that the past few years I've invested in those games, and they just they didn't provide memorable experiences. So, I, you know, I kept watching the competitive scene on like on Twitch or whatever, but you know, it just wasn't wasn't something I wanted to invest in. And then I know this list is actually a little bit shorter, but if Modern Warfare was on here, 2019 Modern Warfare, I'd put it in the A tier. Um, I had fun with it. It definitely provided a whole new experience for Call of Duty. Um, the campaign was amazing. It really was. It, was, it looked great. It was riveting. It was dark. Um, but multiplayer, I still play still play from time to time until, you know, Cold War comes out. But what one thing that really threw me off from it was the fact that, and I'm trying to gather my thoughts here so it can sound correct, um, the, having the uh, meta where everyone's either using an M4 or an MP5, and it felt like you paid for all this content of a game to only use bits and pieces because you just could not compete with the other the other guns. I couldn't run into a you know a match with an AUG and have the same experience as if I was running in with an M4 or MP5. Um, and I'd also put Modern Warfare 2019 in the A tier because it did introduce Warzone. It kind of seemed like Call of Duty grabbed um, got the grasp of what their battle royale needed to be like. Unlike Blackout, um, it's fun. I still play it. We all still play it. Um, it's it's been taken over the battle royale scene for a while now, so yeah. I mean, that's my list, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, what your favorite games were, what weren't your favorite games. But <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but we will see you in the next episode. And I think on um, Friday we're gonna try to pump out a whole playthrough of the Black Ops campaign. So keep an eye out for that. Like I said, turn the notifications on, and we'll see you guys in the next video.